Tony, what's going on, buddy? Oh, not much. Hanging out in Austin. Uh, in Austin, Texas. Got a lot of good friends there, and I'm sure you do, too. We're about ready for a Papa Roach show here in Lubbock, man. Yeah, we are, too. It's been a while. You know, uh, uh, there is a transfer of energy that I think happens between a band and an audience, and I feel like you guys are, are great purveyors of that. You feel that, too? Reciprocal? Yes, man. Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we like creating and being in the studio, but the stage is, is our... Uh, that's our jam, man. We love the uh, the interaction between the crowd and us, and uh, you know we feel like sometimes we wear people out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're seeing a lot of younger people in the crowds now, so they're they're kind of keeping up now. You know that is um, that's that takes us a great. Uh, it's impossible to talk to you without talking about what's new. I kind of feel like you guys are inventing yourself all over again, and it's like the third or fourth time. Yeah, man, it's kind of weird like that, but we just, uh, we sort of paved this way, uh, you know, and we're evolving just as as naturally, I think, as we can, and, and what we feel in the studio, um, it's, it's coming out really well, man. We're super excited. We've been working with a couple new producers on the last record, the last two records, and yeah, we brought them in again for this new one, and uh it's just a super creative process with them in the studio and, and they get us energized and, you know, we throw things at them and it's, it's, it's great, man. Yeah. See, if I had to guess, I would have said you went with a new producer because I, I'm feeling a new sound on these two songs that, um, you know, that's what I wanted to ask you about whether the, this new, it's not necessarily a new direction. It's kind of just a new way of doing things is what it seems like. And that usually comes from a producer, but obviously you guys yeah. did it a little bit with your writing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, we're constantly influenced by things around us and, and we try to, to create things that are a little bit different from the last, you know, things that we've done. And, and, um, it's just further proof, and and you've only heard two songs, so I think to date this is probably one of our most eclectic, if not the most eclectic records we've ever done. I like that. You know, I like yeah, that when I listen to an album, everybody. man. Yeah, to mix it up a little bit. That's cool. It's like its own playlist. Do you, do you ever uh, come up with a jam though, and you go, "This is too old school. I got to throw this out," or is there a way to modify those things? Um. I think, yeah, I think all of the above. We try, we try everything, and if it just doesn't feel right, um, you know, at the end of the day, when we're done writing all the songs, it's, they have to fit with each other. Otherwise, if you, you know, one can't stand out too too much to where it's too old or too futuristic or whatever. You know, it's got, there's got to be like a, a flow to the whole sequence of the record. So we, we definitely like concentrate on that. Yeah, uh, it, well, even in these two songs, there's, there's, boy, the, the variables between these two songs, the differences between these two songs is absolutely amazing. The two that you've released, uh, who do yeah. you, uh, who do you uh, trust in Renegade Music? Renegade Music, though, there's no denying that the, it feels like there's a tiny bit of rage there. Am I correct? Oh yeah, man. We had we had a couple other songs that we uh, put together that actually didn't make the record, but it was like super rage. And I was, yeah, we were excited. It's just, um, like I said, it, it starts taking on its own life and you just sort of, you have to go the way of the, how the music's talking to you. So we didn't put, we didn't put too many other rage influence songs on, but, um, yeah, there was definitely moments of that in the, in the studio writing. Is it a? Is there a giant Papa Roach vault of use uh, of ideas that uh, you know that you've set aside for another time? Um, yeah, I think there's always like a, a surplus of things of ideas, even if it's just a riff or a drum beat or you know what have you. Um, you know, some of the songs carry on; they don't make it to the last record. So you know, there's some songs on this record that were written. Uh, for Crooked Teeth that, once again, just didn't fit the, the vibe, and you know, they're, now they've made it to this record. So yeah, we just, we, we also, we, we create, obviously, on the spot new stuff, but then we kind of rehash some stuff that we've had before uh, and see if it still fits. But sometimes it takes four records 
before a song gets on if we've written it, you know, years ago. It seems also, you know, that you guys are making a real conscious effort to not spill the album title. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to not to spill it, but why why the secrecy? You've got two songs out already. Why aren't you promoting an album title? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought we I thought everything was out there. Okay, then what is the album title? No, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I can't. I can't say. It's all, it's all part of. It's all part of the process, man. We're just, you know, we can't give you the whole thing all at once. We got to just like, we got to keep you guessing. I don't get the whole bag of cookies. Just a couple bites is just all a I get. Bites, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the one question that I, I know it's a fallback question for a lot of DJs, but it makes me wonder, um, mm -hmm. Papa Roach has approximately a billion songs that everybody's heard on the radio. How the heck do you narrow that down to 70 minutes or, or how long are you playing? Um, uh, our headliners is has been 90 90 okay well even 90 minutes it yeah. seems to me that you guys could play for three hours and everybody still know every song how do you get down to 90 um well you know we've actually it's funny you ask we we've been studying like some analytics and see what kind of numbers come in per song and you know we we, we throw those songs in there that are really strong um uh, uh that people listen to automatically and then we just you know, we have to throw stuff in there that we, as a band, want to play as well. Um, so it might not be the most popular one, but, you know, we have to, you know, we, we build our set, too, with, with dynamics in mind and, and, you know, try and take you on a journey. Okay, um, okay. All right, yeah, well, so there's a few variables there. Let's take it down to a personal level. What song am I most likely going to see you smiling while you play? Oh, um... I, well, I mean, it's it's always usually uh, a new song. So, um, you know, Renegade Music, I, I really enjoy playing. Um, and, uh, you know, because you get so so excited as a band to, to release new stuff and see, you know, you try and get the crowd's reaction and see, was well, this a good new song or not? <laughs> and uh, they're the first to tell you, man. When you see their faces, it's either good or you're like, yeah, that doesn't work there. Okay, so basically what you've spilled here is we are going to hear the two new songs in the set at least. Oh, I only said one. Oh, okay. That's how we're going to play it today. This is going to be mystery date is what we're going to do. Hey, man. Yeah, I got to keep you guessing. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you so much calling in. We're looking forward to a hot one uh, in the pavilion coming up Wednesday night, Papa Roach. There is, yeah, there is probably not a more guaranteed great show on the road than a Papa Roach show. I just, I have oh. never seen you guys come in half ass ever, ever. You know? Yeah, we we can't do that. We would be doing a disservice to ourselves and to the fans. So. All right. Well, have we some try fun. Give it, Wes. Okay. Uh, have some fun in Austin while you're there. Come to Up Lubbock Recharged, and I forgot the name of the new album again. What was that? Yeah, it's called. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you in like a month. Okay, then. Thank you so much. We'll see you Wednesday night, buddy. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Yeah.